Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm loving the lights and that's why I'm filming this video. So, you guys are going to see a lot of background noise. I'm sorry, let me apologize. The background, I'm not apologizing. These are my houses, they're big. So, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. And the other things you're supposed to do, do them. So, today is going to be like a chit chat, kind of fun, kind of thing. Is it? So, today I want to talk about um my experience with body house and i hope everybody in my house allows me to shoot this video in peace so um basically i was a day student from js1 to ss1 all of a sudden i decided i guess i was one of decided that i wanted to go to um that i wanted to go to um, the body house and mind you i went to a military school so the body house i'm saying is not that kind of private school setting that you can even have somebody wash your clothes for you it's not that kind of environment and the reason i even decided to go or the reason we decided i should go was that honestly i wasn't doing well in my studies and i was just like oh maybe being a border was going to help that kind of thing we thought we didn't know that <laughs> let's not so basically i became a border i was happy packed my bag blah 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 i moved in and funny enough the day i was moving in was the same day um my friend's friend was moving in so two of us they just asked us if we wanted to stay in the same room so we're just like okay no shit now i get a kind of thing so we moved into the same room and i will recommend it because let me tell you exactly how our body house is. The um the standard of like hygiene and stuff is not it's not excellent. You know there are some toilets that even after washing, there's still a smell that comes out of it. Even after you spray all the sprayables, there's still that underlining smell that you just know it's it's not it's not it's not real. But there was that, and I love to sleep. Let me know, lie. You know when this wake up, this wake up by four o'clock. And when you wake up by four o'clock, you have to do your morning duty. I think the sun is going down. You have to do your morning duty. Then after you have your bath and stuff, you have to leave the hostel. Meaning you can't even sleep after you have done all those things. Or even if you want to sleep, you have to go and sleep in your class where it was like wooden desk and chair. So you have to like um squeeze yourself and on the bench and stuff like that. And honestly, it wasn't convenient. And it was like if i don't sleep from like maybe like 10 to maybe at least 5 or 5 30 i'll find it difficult to function during the day and that made me start sleeping in class and i never used to sleep in class even if i'm to sleep in classes maybe during break time or when we don't have a teacher but it became it, it became bad so bad that i would be sleeping when class was going on and it wasn't helping oh my god the food wasn't even something to write home about the food was in small portion the quality of the food was not even good let's say the quantity is small the quality is not good and to be honest i think i'm not just used to that kind of setting i i was not because even that time i remember in js1 we used to complain about the borders sleeping and stuff like that and we used to say oh is the tea that I giving them or something not knowing that it was because they were not used to like the sleeping pattern and stuff like that it didn't really help me in terms of like academics and police used to get punished norms used to beat us in school but it was like after school you come and they come and beat you again why and they were like seniors always any opportunity to send you message and stuff like that um to me it wasn't i don't see that as discipline because they're just making somebody suffer for no reason there are some there will be some saturdays that we have to push the gutter if the gutter is functioning why would we have to push gutter i don't understand and what else there are just some like extremely wicked people that don't want to make life miserable for their juniors and stuff and in body house i don't really know you know everywhere it's kind of a click a click a click that kind of vibe and there's not even problem there's not a problem in like having clicks but when those clicks when some clicks are claiming we are the superior ones we have to have like the first um seat on the dining table all those things ah uh, it made me feel like 
Life is not this hard. Why are you guys doing this? And sometimes on Saturday, when there was environmental, they used to give us um, um when, when. Imagine now grinding um beans from last night because there's environmental the next day because you can't move around. Grinding beans the, the nights before and now just boiling it to make a kara. Sorry, is it a kara? Sorry, to make moe moe in the morning. It will be sour and they will still serve it to us because boy, what would they do? They'll serve it to us, no, no. And honestly, I like food, I like sleeping. I don't like suffering, so it wasn't for me, honestly. I'm assuming if probably I went to, and the main reason the um, academic issue was not solved, so I had to pull out after a year. Yes, now I only did SS today, and I'm actually happy I had the courage to pull out because, to be honest, I was the one that raised the idea of going to the boarding house, and all my thoughts at the end of like. The three terms was like Shakira, you were the one that brought up this idea. So is it now after a year now you're like you don't want to be a Buddha again? What will people say? Ah oh, God. We need to stop that mentality. I need to stop that mentality of what will people say. That thing can ruin somebody. That's like what will people say? Will you not say that um, Shakira is lazy, Shakira is I beg I'm lazy, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah I mean but I was thinking of different things. And I was like, you know what? Those people are not paying my school fees. They they don't even have a say in my life. They don't know what is going on in my life. And I was just I just actually summoned the courage to tell my mom, obviously. After my mom first, I can't jump to the other parents. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So I had to tell my mom that Elijah, this thing is not working and even the academic thing I wanted to solve is not getting solved. I think my grades even got worse because I wasn't sleeping when I couldn't concentrate in class. And I was just majorly thinking that I can't carry this kind of attitude to write work or neck or any major exam in my life for that matter. And honestly, I'm very glad I didn't just put my mind on what, what people think, blah, 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 blah. And I'm very happy I just decided to pull out because I can't imagine what my grades would have been in my major exams if I hadn't pulled out. And um, I guess that's it. But I'm going to do another video where I share like some specific experiences like when they beat us, punishment, stuff like that. But I was just really enjoying the lighting of this video. And I was like, oh, let me just do a video now and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.